A group of anti-Semites interrupted a celebration for Israel's Independence Day late Sunday night. With us now is Ezekiel Hersaj from the Argentinian Jewish community. Shalom. Shalom. So tell us, Ezekiel, what exactly took place at the event? Uh, well, as you said, we were in Buenos Aires in, on the street celebrating uh, Yemat Maot. Uh, there were about 2,000 people on the street. And suddenly a group of 10 or 15 people came out of the subway with um, letters and banners saying uh, things like uh, Jewish go out and anti-Zionism signs. But the security guys that were with us um, don't let them go ahead. And they start to push and to to kick us, well, not, not me, fortunately, but with, with um, all they had, uh, someone told us that one had a gun and they had some uh, sticks and all that stuff. Fortunately, that's it. Uh, we, we, we could get away from them. Um, as we asked the police to, to, came, to come, they, they start running. But fortunately, we, they could get five of them. Um, nothing, nothing really, really happened, luckily. Now tell me, does this event surprise you or is this something you've been living with for a long time? Um, the truth is that in Argentina we, we have a kind of events, uh, anti-Jewish anti events, but I really didn't expect this to happen. We were on the street in an event organized by the, the government, so we, we didn't think this was about to happen, really. Now, do you think this event is influenced by the climate of anti-Semitism that is so strong in Venezuela? Uh, definitely. I, I think it's uh, Argentina is very influenced by Venezuela and by other countries in, in Latin America. And it's a disgusting situation because we, we all really, really know about the relation between uh, Argentina's president and Venezuela's president. And we also know about the the Chavez situation in Latin America uh, and the power he's getting uh, in the whole continent. So it's, it's a really uh, disgusting situation and, and not, not, not funny situation at all. Ezekiel, you know, of course we want people to come to Israel for positive reasons, but I have to ask you, do events like this encourage immigration to the Jewish state? Uh, I think, I personally think that Israel is definitely the place to be. But as you say, uh, these kind of things uh, make people sit down and think again if, if they can still live uh, as, as, if, as if nothing would be happening in the, in the diaspora and making them think if, if they should go uh, back to Israel. Uh, yeah, as you say, I think uh, it makes us think if, if that's the, the solution. Ezekiel, thank you very much for joining us. Okay, sure, thank you.